Hello. In this video, I want to explain why in a matrix a column is a linear combination of other columns if and only if it corresponds to a non-pivot column when the matrix is in its reduced row echelon form. Consider the matrix A. Let's say when we reduce A, we get R E F of A, where all columns are pivot columns except for the last column. To illustrate, we'll write R E F of A equals identity for the top one 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 top one zero 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 Now these columns are all pivot columns. So now consider the last column. Let's say we have A1, A2, A3, dot dot dot, A k, A k plus 1, dot dot dot, and A n. And here's our matrix. Now the key is in these entries. If they are zero, then this final column must be a non-pivot column because we can construct all these entries by scaling the previous columns. Conversely, if they are not zero, then the final column must be a pivot column. And therefore, if the column is a non-pivot column, then it must be the linear combination of previous columns and vice versa.